newborn screening is done within the first three days of life. It's a series of investigations and tests that include a physical examination of the baby, where we look at the baby from top to toe to ensure that there are no problems that we can identify. We also do a hearing test on the baby to make sure there's no hearing problems. We also do a heart test on the baby, which is a heart screen, where we check the baby to make sure there are no heart complications. And then the final thing we do is a heel prick test, which from which we take a little bit of blood from the baby to test for genetic conditions that are generally quite rare, but very important to diagnose to prevent anything wrong happening to the baby. It's really very important to ensure that we do undertake the newborn screening programme to make sure we can identify life-changing conditions for babies. Now, these, some, of, some of these conditions can be um, treated if they are diagnosed early. So early detection of hearing problems, early detection of genetic problems, and also early detection of heart problems can, be, can make a huge difference to the outcome of the baby. There are treatments available for several of these conditions that we may identify. So if we don't look for them, we will not find them. The most common conditions we find in newborn screening relate mainly to the genetic testing that we do based on the hill prick test that is done on the baby. These conditions include hypothyroidism, which is a challenge with the problem of the gland in front of the neck. We also find problems that we can identify related to what we call cystic fibrosis, which is a condition of the lungs and of the body organs. And we can also find several other conditions as well. The hearing test tells us that there may be a problem with the baby's hearing, and therefore we can detect these conditions really early. And then the heart disease test tells us there may be a problem with the heart, and these can be detected really early, so that treatment can be directed accordingly. Firstly, the results come out in different ways. There are some tests that we get an immediate result on, which are the hearing test and the heart disease test. And in that case, if there's something wrong with those tests, we let the parents know, and whatever follow-up is required following that, we will arrange. There are other tests, which, such as a heel prick test, that take a couple of days to come back. Usually within three to five days, we become aware of a problem with that test. And what we will do is we will track the family down to make sure that they are informed about this test and any follow-on arrangements that may be required. There are some situations where a repeat test may be required to confirm the concern that we may have. And in some other cases, a direct referral to a subspecialist may be, may be required. Some of the misconceptions surround fear because of lack of information. Uh, I think once we can explain to parents that these are important tests, the parents will be able to buy into this um, concept and the idea. It's also important that parents don't worry. Sometimes parents think, oh, there's blood being taken from the baby. But actually, the heel picture is very painless. And similarly, the hearing test and the heart disease tests are also painless investigations as well. The key message is that we would encourage our parents to be compliant with us as we reach out to you whenever we get test results that may be abnormal. We would also encourage you to comply with whenever we need to call you back for investigations to be repeated or for you to be informed about new problems. Your baby's health is our priority.